Often, you want to show that a message is invoked multiple times before the next message is sent, similar to a for loop. In a communication diagram, you show this by imposing a constraint on the message that you want invoked multiple times. So here we have object 1 sending two messages to object 2, and we want the first message to be repeated five times before the second message gets sent. So how would we show that? We're going to put a constraint on the message, and in UML you use an asterisk to indicate that the constraint is a looping constraint. So asterisk, and then our square brackets, and then we have a counter like so. Now what this shows is that message 1 has to meet this condition. It's going to have five iterations before message 2 gets sent. Let's look at a quick example of how that might work. For this example, we have an architect and a builder, and the builder is building a multi-story building that the architect has designed. So the architect sends a message to the builder, and that message is build floor. Now this is a 20-story building, so we want that message sent the appropriate number of times before the next message gets sent. So we'll say like that. Build floor 20 times and then the next next message can be sent put up flagpole. Now obviously you don't want to put up the flagpole before all of the stories in the in the multi-story building have been built. So you want to keep sending this message, sending this message, until it's been sent the appropriate number of times that corresponds to the number of floors, and then you send message to put up the flagpole. So that shows just a silly example of when you might want to use that kind of looping constraint. Now you might recall that in a sequence diagram you use an interaction frame to fragment part of the sequence, and you use the loop operator to indicate what kind of fragment we're talking about, and you put your constraint here at the top of the frame. And this is an example that we looked at in, an, in another movie, where at a college, an instructor who's a faculty member is inputting student grades into the registrar's system, and this, re and this repeats for as long as this condition is true, for as long as the number of grades is less than the number of students. So how would we show this kind of looping behavior in a communication diagram? Here we've got our instructor object and our system, and the instructor is going to keep sending the input grades message to the system. for as long as this condition is true. Number of grades is less than the number of students. So again, as you can see here, we put that condition right on the message. This indicates that it's a looping constraint, and here's the constraint. As long as the number of grades is less than the number of students, this input grade message continues to be sent. So it's very easy to show looping behavior in a communication diagram because you put the constraint right on the message that loops.